For a relatively new feature in 3D Coat called a 2D Gizmo that better facilitates the manipulation of a 2D grid, material overlay, or a mask overlay. So let's first start with a grid. So I'm going to get my hotkey to bring it up. You can access it from the view menu here. And if you want to utilize snapping, you probably would want to check that while you're here. And as you may have been accustomed to previously, you can use these widgets to rotate, pan, zoom, and so on. So these are pretty basic. But if you want more control, you can hover over this little center point and you'll see a little tool tip there letting you know that you can right click to bring this gizmo up. And so as you see, you have handles for moving along a specific axis. And this is not something you had here. This was just kind of a free form pan. Okay, but if you wanted precise control moving it specifically down a single axis, you did not have that capability before. Same thing about scaling along a given axis. You have a global scale widget here and also a rotation widget You can come up here to reset back to default if you want. You can click the little X icon to hide the gizmo, right click it again, or you can simply right click to hide it. You can also hit the escape key on the keyboard if you want to use that. So I'll right click to bring that up again. And one of the major benefits of this particular gizmo is that it allows you to apply numeric inputs. Again, it's just not something you had using these widgets. So if I hover over this rotation widget, left mouse click, hold, and hit the space bar, now I can add a numeric value. So let me do that again. I'll left mouse click, hover, hold, space bar, and I'll hit 90. And you'll notice that it didn't apply 90 degrees additively. It has a static number for each position. So if I were to go back to this rotation widget, do the same thing, hold it and spacebar, and hit zero, you'll notice it comes right back to the original position. So again, 45, 90, it's almost like a clock of sorts. You can hover over that center line, position it wherever you like. This is especially helpful if you're trying to maybe gauge the proportions of a model. Okay, maybe let's try and scale it up a bit. All right, one of the additional benefits is that if I wanted to save this uh, grid state or this gizmo in its current position, I can simply create a camera shortcut. Now typically, before this feature came along, this would just save a camera position, right? But this will save the grid and the gizmo just as it is along with the camera position. So when you save the file, 3D Coat will also store this camera shortcut or a series of camera shortcuts inside the file. Okay, so I'm gonna hit my hotkey to turn the grid off. And let's look at materials. I'll click on that and you see this little preview options panel pop up. And again, you can use the little widget here the zoom, pan, but it's nowhere near as convenient as being able to 
work directly over your object this way. Okay, so I can move it right to this particular position. And when you come to the panel, if you see unlock, when you zoom, okay, 3D Coat is going to maintain the same zoom value for both the overlay and your objects. This is very handy. But if you wanted to hold this material overlay in place, you could click lock. All right. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. Global scale. Let's rotate it just a bit. I want to skew it or scale along a, a given axis. I can do that here. And once again, you can see the numeric value uh, being displayed as you are transforming the object. And let's go ahead and save a camera shortcut. So what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and lock that. And I'll go ahead and exit out of this material. I'll go to masks. And I'll hit my hotkey, which is 4 for left view. Zoom out a little bit. I'll click reset for this particular mask. Okay, right click on the little center dot. And I can use that to kind of pan and put it in place. You can rotate that. So let's save another camera shortcut. I can close that out and now I can cycle between my camera shortcuts here I'll use my hotkeys for that control left click for a previous shortcut and you can see how 3D Coat stored that all right so very handy all right so that should bring this demonstration to a conclusion hope it helps and stay tuned for the next video